Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Best of One. A new season of Mythic has started on Arena. Uh, today, we're, we're continuing with, with 2021 standard. And this is it. today we're playing a deck that I don't think gets enough respect. It's a known deck, but um, it doesn't get really the, the, the play or even the respect or it deserves. And that's Black White Angels. Black White Angels is actually a very powerful deck in standard 2022. Um, and it plays angels like uh, Youthful Valkyrie, Righteous Valkyrie, which is a 2-4 that lets, lets you gain life off the toughness of clerics and other angels you control. Then when your life total is 27 or more, it gives all creatures plus 2 plus 2, um, including itself. So, so it's, like, it's like an anthem that also pumps itself. It's it's pretty huge. Uh, we have Legion Angel, which is a 4-man 4-3, which is not exciting. However, it will tutor up. Legion, Legion Angels from the sideboard. We have three here, so this is just a constant supply of Angels. Starheim Unleashed, also a great foretell card in an in, in, uh, angel, angel deck. Makes a lot of 4-4 four, four angels, four, four angels with, with Vigilance and Flying. Keynote here is this is Vigilance and Flying. And the really, the really underrated cards I feel like are uh, Freya's Retribution, which is a 4-mana 4-4. 4-mana for a 4-4 four, 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 Flying Vigilance Angel. And the second chapter um, allows it to just allows angels to destroy creatures with power less than angel's power. And the third chapter it gives all angels you control double strike. Uh, this 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 saga is very very good. There, there are very few sagas where every chapter is good, and um, usually it's like one or two. Like binding binding the old, binding the old gods has like two good chapters, and the final chapter is like whatever. Uh, phrase retribution. All three chapters are. Can be very relevant and very uh game changing it's a great card we also have rampage of the valkyries it's a five man enchantment and it's a four four angel which isn't that great five man for four four angel is a little, little much however and then it gives gives the ability of uh whenever an angel you control dies each other player sacrifices a creature this is great against uh creature decks especially mid-range ones like monograin against mono white it's not that great because Usually they have like a bunch of the, like one ones when they go wide, but however, against like a green deck or even uh, even like blue red dragons, is it dragons? Uh, this 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 can go far away. And of course, we have Mary's Call, which is a land and also makes angels as get as well. And then we have uh, caves. Uh, I'm sure the what caves of the frost dragon. Cave of, the Frost, Cave of the Frost Dragon, which is not an angel, but it's 3 4 land that attacks. Then we have our removal and Vanishing Burst, Flunk, Soul Shatter, um, and even Retribution. Deck's pretty good. I'm a fan of it. The only, angel, the only non angel in the deck is Lumark Aspirant. That's because the card is just, this card is just a very good card on turn two and even turn three. It's just a solid card overall. And it grows our angels out of like Dragon's Breath range um, by, putting, by, by putting, counters, putting counters on them. All right, so let's see what's, what this deck's like in the new, the new standard. Let us see. Well, this is okay. It's not that great, but good shape up. Let's see. I think we're playing as a giant deck. Descry two. And then draw a card. If a giant to do, if a giant take your damage. The next turn, the next giant costs two less. I think the cosmos is a good one. It's anticipate, so the top three cards, and they get to do it again if they have a giant for one mana. So they're showing us this one, which is all giant sources deal double damage. Which I assume this is probably the one they're casting next turn. We'll see though. I 
the card we have to be careful of is also Invasion of the Giants. It does 4 damage to all non-giant creatures. So there they go, they cast this for 2 mana, then Glimpse for 1. Pretty powerful. I play this and they have invasion. It could backfire. Or I could just play this one, the 4-4. Four four. Put this out of reach. I need to play one of them. To put one to put one of these animals out of reach. Then worst case scenario, they play invasion, we take six damage. Then we could then we can be we can be rampage the Valkyries. I think this is probably safest. And then they invade again if they invasion. Or whatever. This one. I say invasion, but I meant the wrath. here. If they kill my angel, they lose a giant. I probably should have attacked first. Tell is probably, I'm gonna assume, all Ron's Epiphany. And we're gonna foretell this card here. I was going to say, because if they have another invasion of the giants, then we can uh, re re refill the board with angels. They know that they know the next card they're drawn because they kept one, they kept one, one card on top. Thought the angels doing some work there. Giants also an underplayed, underplayed archetype. Angels is like super, super underplayed. And it's just a really good deck. Like Caves of the Frost Dragon. Alright. So you gotta be careful of like. Spellbinder. I hope they don't have like a, port a portable hole here. Unfortunately, they had the hole. Okay. Saw the hole. Try to grow this again. Also, this way, if they do place well binder. Retribution next chapter will be very powerful. I'm playing this first because of Spellbinder. I don't want to get Spellbound. We'll 
take four. A huge deal. Alright. This does have lid vigilance. I'm gonna banish the Usher. Yeah, because they're gonna go. They're, they're gonna go all in on the Usher. Let me have lethal. Next turn. Be fair with Freya with lethal without the banishing without the banishing verse because again uh Freya's retribution has a very powerful last chapter which aims a double strike so this, this has been 12 damage because we give counter to Lunark so, so this is 12 this is 13 14 15 16. so even if we didn't kill this thing we were they, they we were still gonna win it's probably correct honestly to not kill that honestly we probably should have just taken five here and then if they played a land and played another spell we should have been we should have versed the spirit so that we have lethal for sure. So I kind of made a mistake. Didn't matter. Didn't end up mattering. But uh, in hindsight, I definitely I, in hindsight I definitely, definitely should, should take that five damage because we, we have lethal back in the air, and uh, we want to kill that one one flyer if they do make it with her own spirit. Where's my, my pet? Where's Xanathar? Where yeah, bro. There he is. Ah, he was sleeping. Zap the opponent. You missed. You missed. He zapped the ground. My favorite does like rainbow stuff. His eyes. Kind of cool. Oh man, this is a mirror match. I take Rampage with Valkyries. That's probably the hardest thing. Okay, we're gonna deal with, but I guess not. I do want to. I do want. I do want to cast this out of my hand next turn, just to play around Spellbinder, because this costing seven mana is. Nightmare. This costing five is whatever. Soul Shatter is fine. It's like black white control. Maybe like Kaya's Kaya plane blocker. No. Maybe that's just angels. Okay. 
unfortunate because their angel is going to kill our angel. And they pumped that Valkyrie up. Could be in trouble. We also have Rampage of the Valkyrie, so it's pretty good in the mirror match. Unfortunately, we're drawing lands here, flooding out. We have a lot of gas. It's a good one. It's really good, actually. I think it's a double strike. We'll kill my angel. I'll kill this one. I'll probably, I'll probably lose a, a youthful Valkyrie. Because I, 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 can, I, can, I can animate and block. They have double strike. But kill this still. And they kill my token. And sacrifice their their, their youthful Valkyrie. And I, I, then, then I'm in top deck mode. To be fair, I'm in top deck mode no matter what. At this point, right? But if I draw... I just take it. If I draw an angel, this thing, this thing, becomes, this thing becomes massive. Well, not massive, I guess. I could just chump here and try to draw. I'm gonna do that. Try to try to draw an angel to get all my angels out of range. Out of range of a uh... man that stinks. It's so bad. Angel there is huge because it, it, it basically gets, lets us get around retribution, but we're gonna lose to it. We're gonna lose to it. Mostly because we, we, we've seen ten lands. I want to see exactly four, which is very good for them. I think I'm only out here at this point is drawing another rampage and then drawing third rampage of the Valkyries. I think it's double strike. It's so much damage. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, sixteen. Is that lethal? Eight. I have to block here. This deals eight damage. So sixteen damage. So it's twenty damage. Exact lethal. I had, had, had this last turn be much better. 
Here's what I'm gonna do though. I'm not winning if I just play this plays as a 4-4. So I'm just gonna attack. Just hope 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 you don't see it. The alpha strike. Maybe maybe they play around my Maybe they play around uh Removal spell of some sort. Nope, they did not. That stinks. First strike happens, they sacrifice their Lunar Mark Aspirant, unfortunately. And then we die. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they, they they just drew four lands. Perfect, 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 perfect mana. They could probably use one more they could probably use one more land, but we had an amazing start. We had a very good start, but we flooded out. They had not. That's magic. Drawing poorly happens sometimes. Okay, this is a good one. It's a good curve. We have two, three, four. Oh my god. I messed that up. Oh, oh my god. Oh lord. I'm gonna play the snarl there. I'm not what I was thinking. I even said in my head, like, make sure you play snarl. If not. Awesome. Oh. Maybe this works out. Maybe I can banishing burst this and get it and get like a. Does damage to you when the goblins enter the battlefield you control this turn to any target? They can ping me. How does the one one kill me? This frostbite? A well, frostbite kills it anyways, right? again. That's six. I guess this is a play. Let's me block this. When the bugbear kills me. I lost that to mana as well. I could have played the Valkyrie last turn. So I gained life. Mana and because I messed up. I messed up, but. If I play this normal first, I could play the Valkyrie, right? Then my other creatures start getting life. Some merit to playing this first before the before the youthful, but for some life. Righteous Valkyrie. Soul shattered. I'll just name the card on curve, which all angel deck plays for. I'll just name Valkyrie probably. 
Like this one. It's a card you don't want to see next turn anyways. Good call. I think we're in, I think we're in top deck a thousand lands in a row, right? This place tapped. A thousand being two lands in a row. Also plays around playing this plays around hum humiliate part two. And is this closer to Cave of the Frost Dragon? Start that beat down. Cave of the Frost Dragon. St. Angels is not played. You're all playing. I'm not sure if they're angels, but they're just like a. Maybe just playing. Maybe just playing Retribution because it's a good card. There's some something we said to put the to to the count on here. This thing is like if they have removal spell to kill the caves, then they rock the board. It's pretty bad because we're not sure they're on angels yet. They could, they could just be on like a black white control deck playing retribution. this I'll play the loom mark next turn get it going Never mind, I'm just gonna flunk that now. What if they just righteous next turn then? That thing just gets, that thing gets out of hand pretty quickly. Okay. They probably take the, the Valkyrie. And Unleash is also a decent take, but two fours. Pretty big for them. I just this. If that's the case, we'll just play this tapped. 
and Lumarc. That is not correct. I can just play that as a land. I know you want to take the biggest, biggest like. I know, I know that trying to just like cost the most. Like I, I get that. Play next turn, play is tapped, and then Vanishing Burst, and then un untap and play Unleashed. Never mind. I don't think they'll do all that because they're just killing a lot of stuff. We got apparitions. Three, four, five, six. A lot of damage. I should have played this though. Ugh. I was so sad my, la my last my last plan. I should have changed my plan. Played this and held up the vanishing verse. I realized as, a, as I was playing this, I can't afford to play through life. Man. Yeah, it's so backwards. If I play this first, I could have just made eight, eight light this turn and won the game. Making small small mistakes here, but they're they're costing me games. Um I play this. I can block here, block here, and then take one, two, three. Well I'd block this actually. I'd block here and block here and take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just die. Can't do that. The animate the haven. Okay. That lethal? That two turn lethal? Block, trade. Block, block. Take one, two, three. It's lethal. That's my fault. That's my fault. I'm sorry. If I play that correctly, we'd be at a higher life. Have a ball queen play it. Turn earlier, which means the spell binary can't attack us either. Right? I could have vanishing burst whatever I wanted to that turn. And then untap and played 244 Angel and gained 8 life. Like, that was my fault. I threw that game away. I'm gonna blame it on the shuffler though. I'm gonna blame it on the shuffler. It's not my fault. It's the shuffler's fault. I can't plunk it. Can't power word kill it. They can baleful master it though. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright, 
Alright, now let's rampage just to punish them for killing our creatures in the future. Leave my creatures alone. You son of a turd. I mean, what are you going to be, Alpha Master yet? I dare you. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so. Dispute? No. Yeah, something. Some instant. Maybe we're just holding treasures because of the ability. The ability. It's gonna be hard for them to grind out the angels, though. Legion, the Legion angels. Black foretells what? Poison the cup. Poison the cup. I guess there's also a Skull Raid. I don't think they're playing that. Alright. Blood on the Snow is like the only thing that I'm like worried about. That'd be, that'd be obviously annoying. And powerful. Alright. I get the merchant back that's gonna die from rampage. That at least. Got poison the cup. Yep. Next turn we can deploy double angel. Sure. Six mana. That's really good. One one stops <laughs> stops us from soul shattering the fate the haven. Brutal. This would be what? Eight in the sky? Eight? Is this lethal? That's one, two. No, they don't have the token anyway, so it's not going to be lethal either way. I guess I'd better just put. Eight. So if I do this, two of these, they can block one with the spirit, right? They take eight. Take eight. 9, 10, 11. Only a lethal. I'm just Valkyrie then. Valkyrie to get some value out of it and then play Angel.
two, three, four, five. Can't blow in the snow the, the, the cave. They are out of cards. No attacks. Didn't think so. Soul shattering till the eye twitch though. Or maybe I should have done that. God damn it. I should have done that. I should have killed the eye twitch. EOT though. Right? Got loop on the air. Why are you doing that? God, why, Ollie? Why? You don't want to win the game, Ollie. I'm noticing a mistake, but like, come on, Ollie. Don't play so fast. Playing too fast. Think, 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 think a little more through. I don't want to kill the eye twitch because, you know, it it, it learns. But, okay, it's like, okay. Let them learn, but then just kill them. And we didn't lose that game, but like, could have won turn. Could have won a turn earlier. We're just giving them, you know, false sense of hope. That was the plan. Okay. Well. Depending on what they're playing, this could go either way. Looks like dragons. I could have a roar. Draconic variety. Kamari command. Okay, this lets them do a turn four. Turn four gold span? But they can't gold span and hold up Sock coming. Galazeth. Galazeth is Mari. Fine. But what a soul shatter. I think so. I 
because next turn I can just make massive, like, this gives them one to have exactly Goldspan Dragon and Epiphany. If they have both of those, then we're in trouble. I'm not blocking either of those. Or we're not blocking that because there's probably a Frostbite. Yeah. We're not getting Frostbitten today. Gonna play this last to get nine life. I have double frostbite. I'm right, smarting command frostbite. Red decks have a hard time dealing with big creatures, so as you can see. Okay. Yeah. Of course, they had draconic intervention. Wow. Red decks have a hard time dealing with a lot of creatures, and they really do, except with Exile of Magma Opus. To discard too. Using control, I have add blue red. Only for instant sorceries of class level. You cast an instant sorcery spell. That spell deals damage equal. This spell deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of instant sorcery cards in your. You play this turn. Okay. So we can try to get this out of reach of spells. Epiphany. Oh my god, the birds have add mana. The birds can add mana. Another epiphany. Okay, he's kind of mad now. I mean, this pumps all the angels. Pumps everything up. Taken off to the moon. Two epiphanies down. Sure. 
Got another one. They lose a bird. Oh, they don't lose a bird, it's an angel. Flunk one bird, but no point. Rather flunk like a something relevant, either a haven or something else. Alright, try one more. One or more cards are put into exile. Give it a counter. Uh, I know there's some white card. That's not good. I think I'm gonna vanish the dog or the portable hole. Vanish the hole. Gain life. I think I vanish the hole. And take what? What load damage here next turn? I do it now. The Paladin class. turn. Can't attack. I mean, I'll trade if they attack, but I don't think they can really for it to attack. Yeah. And then 
and I don't know. We have Banishing Burst again here, so. Not sure they can win here. For sure. We win. Even if they level Palm Cuss all the way, I can just burst the, the dog that's had to go all in on. I can just jump block, jump block it. Not a huge deal either way. Lens is very good on these on the angels, obviously. Being great on the off offense and defense. All right, that's the deck. We won. We won a lot. The games we lost. I feel like at least two or I mean, at the very least two of the games we lost, we should have won. I just made mistakes, but uh, that's the deck. The deck's obviously very good. Um, I do think it's a, it's a deck that is capable of getting the mythic. Again, the games we lost was due to player error, so. You like this kind of strategy? It, it is good. Also very good against the the, the green decks. So if if, if mono green mono green becomes popular again, it's good there too. I feel like the, our worst matchups are probably control, control and probably uh, ramp. Ramp could be rough too, unless we like just come, come out the come out the gates with with the guns blazing. Yeah, this is a deck. It's it's a it's a powerful one. Uh, very, very able to get to Mythic, so. Yeah, thanks for being everyone. Appreciate you. Um, if you want to follow my channel, it's over at twitch.tv slash allyalldrowsy. Also, um, my most active social media is active social media is twitter.com slash allyalldrowsy. And if you shop at closetofink.com, above, you can use code, you can use code ollie5, save 5% off your entire, your entire order, and get a sweet All Y'all Drowsy whip token. And uh, that also expect to me. So thanks so much. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, have a wonderful week. And I'll see you back on Friday.